Hi, I'm Larry Strevig. I'm president of uh, Clayton Visual Arts. And uh, each month we have an art opening here at the Clayton Center. Uh, this month is always special to us because we go into this with the Women's Club, Clayton Women's Club, and it's called the Art Festival. It is. Clayton Women's Club Art Festival. Art Festival. And I'm uh, pleased to be here with the president of the, lady, the Women's Club. And uh, this is Margaret Lee. Margaret, this is always fun for us. I'm not sure how many years we've been doing it, but it's at least nine, maybe ten. Could be ten, Larry. It's yeah. been longer than I have lived in Clayton, I know that, so. And I've okay. been here for eight. Okay. So. Now, it's, it's, always, uh, it's always fun. I guess I've been to most of those. And uh, what we're talking about when I say it's fun is that most of this is student art, not all of it, but tell us about the... Well, a great majority is uh, student art, and the thing that is so astonishing is that Clayton, as you know, has grown so much that we have gone from going to one high school as to going to four high schools now to collect the art from students. And uh, going from one middle school, we go to, I can't even count the number of middle schools that we collect art from. And so uh, we have a whole plethora of uh, types of art that the students, uh, I just looked at them and I'm just blown away every year at the concepts that that these kids, I'm not going to say children, have, but uh, it's amazing. You see a lot of artists that are going to make it their, their lives work. Well, there's no question. Now, with that many students uh, wanting to participate, do you go out and kind of judge and say, yeah, we'll take this, this doesn't quite make it? Is that Well, how it's done? it is up to um, the instructor at the school, the art teacher, and uh, they are asked to kind of keep it down as far to select who they think would be worthy of, of the, uh, the blue ribbon, if you will. And then uh, we have it brought into the Clayton Center just after Christmas, and then we do have artists uh, that are in, actually I think this year we had the Johnson County Arts Council that came in and judged. So they judge the student art as well as the art that our Women's Club has. And um, I dare say that uh, the, the students are quite, quite good. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. I mean, it's not just student art. Uh, the members of the Women's Club also gets to uh, exhibit art. Yeah. And then tell us the progress or the process here. If you win here. If you win here, you will go to the District Arts Festival. And we are very competitive in District Arts. Um, and we're so lucky that this year our District Arts Festival will be held here on Saturday, February the 8th at the First Baptist Church downtown. So um, these kids will go up against, uh, I believe, seven other women's clubs. And we will also have judges come in and judge that. And we usually have about, I would say, 100 people turn out for that event and we will also have the uh, scholarship winners at that event on February the 8th. And, and then, then after sorry, the district. Yes, after the district, I want to talk about Clayton the most. After the district you will go on to state and that's at my alma mater, that's at Campbell University. And um, I'm not sure of the date, don't hold me to it, but I think it's in early March and um, the winners from district will go on to state and will be judged from that. Now the district um, program is going to be in February? Yes, Saturday, February 8th. So if you get a chance to come down and see that, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. It, in other words, it's all the winners from the other the districts. Now, how many districts are there in North Carolina? Uh, gosh, I think that there are 10 districts and we okay. are District 8. But we go all we the way go, to the coast, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. We, we are the farthest west and then we do go all the way to the coast. Okay. Well, it's a wonderful show and uh, I wish you well with it. And uh, I hope that if you are out there and you'd like to see some very interesting art, 
see what's going on in our schools with these, these fabulous school teachers that we have in this county, uh, please come down and see it. Margaret, anything else you want to talk about? No, nope. we'll see you Saturday, February 8th. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy talking to you. tonight with a lot of student art, wonderful stuff, and I hope you could get down and see it. I'm standing here beside our mayor, Jody McLeod, and Jody will take over the program from here. Awesome. Thank you, Larry. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Um, thank you so much for being here. I'd like to also thank the Women's Club of Clayton for their sponsoring this uh, annual event for us. You know, uh, we with the town of Clayton, we have a goal to be known as the premier arts community in addition to the premier community for active families. So we've been working diligently in our role as elected officials to promote the arts here in Clayton. And in January, it's always an honor to recognize the amazing talent of our young people. And when I came through uh, last night and viewed I was blown away and I know that it really I say that nearly every year but it's just incredible the amount of talent that is in the Clayton Center this evening and you know my hope for each of you is that you aspire and dream and go big because uh, the possibilities for you as artists and designers it's unlimited unlimited possibility so thank you for being here this evening I'm gonna turn it over to the Women's Club for the announcement of all of our winners Ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I'd also like to say thank you for being here tonight. We have a lot of talent here, and it's all due to the students, their parents, their teachers. We have a lot of help here, and we appreciate all of you so much. So we are going to be starting with our awards. In our first category tonight, we're going to be starting with grades 9 through 12 and that's with ceramics. And we have Allie Gray, first place. We have Samantha Diglio, second place. Okay. We're going to move on to metal, and we have Christy Kazmarek, first place. Also in metal, Stephen Stewart, second place. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> to Wood, and we have Alex Chung, first place. Oh, good oh, job. Good. <laughs> we have Jenny Tormey, second place. Moving on to paper crafts, we have Christy Kazmerzak, first place. Awesome. Sawyon Kim, second place. Right. We're going to move on to decorative painting, and that is Kelly Frazier, first place. Awesome. We have Ashlyn Reby, second place. We're going to be moving on to Nature Crafts with Lauren Meeker, first place. Awesome. We have Millie Kirk, second place. Awesome. Moving on to stitchery, 
Amelia, oh. I think she wants your picture. <laughs> 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 Okay. She's going to make me get the picture, too. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Okay, we're moving on to uh, stitchery. And that's Caroline Regner, first place. <laughs> Megan Chung, first place. The right name. Okay. Oh. okay. I got it. She got it. <laughs> okay. She got her picture. Yes. And Kelly Frazier, second place. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Diecraft, we have Chase Howard, first place. Megan Chung, second place. Awesome. <laughs> Just stand right there. <laughs> Weaving, <laughs> Megan Chung, oh, good first job. place. <laughs> it's very cool, and I'm so honored to have all of these certificates. And I'm so excited to go to district because I performed a monologue this year for the first time. I got two first places, one for monologue, and the other one, I think it was for my needlework. And then I have jewelry and paintings and photography. It's so cool to talk to all the other artists around here that share the same passion for the art that I do. Okay, <laughs> now we're moving on to mosaics. Taylor Zunick, first place. Jack Evian, second place. We have beadwork next, and that is Benjamin Newton at first place. Megan Chung, second place. I'm glad you haven't gone far. <laughs> Jewelry, Angel Lemon. First place, Glass, Allie Gray, first place, <laughs> Lucia Rivia, Rivia, second place. Moving on to acrylics, grades 6 through 8, and that is Grace Amica, first place. Lexi Flock, second place. Watercolors, Sydney Johns, first place. Trinity Star, second place. Okay, we're going to move on to sculpture work. And Kendall Underwood, first place. Jackson Amika, second place. Moving on to pen and ink. And we have Holly Hill, first place. We have Sam Gill, second place. Moving on to pencil. And we have Gilbert Booth, first place. Trinity Star, second place.
Next is color pencil. And that is Joanna, no, Jonah, excuse me. Jonah Gill, first place. <laughs> Brett Buckner, second place. Moving on to mixed media, and we have Crystal Pratt, first place. And Rebecca Selig, second place. By the way, I want everyone to know we have um, at least two schools tonight that were not even here last year. So this is a nice big plus. And they've got awards. So, moving on to uh, grades 9 through 12, and acrylic oils, and Marissa Reeser is first place. Awesome. Congratulations. Cynthia Brito, second place. Moving on to Pastel, Cynthia Brito, first place. <laughs> pastel again, Noah Mercusco, second place. <laughs> now we're on to watercolors, and that is Marissa Reeser, first, first place. Awesome. Chase Howard, second place. It's really exciting and humbling that someone would want to look at my own artwork. I've never, I don't really show my artwork to many people. It's sort of a personal thing and it's interesting to see that someone would actually want to see it. Art is sort of an escape from the daily life, something that keeps me out of my own head. Sculpture, Shaman Neek, first place. Alex Chung, second place. My biggest piece is my woodworking piece. And that started because I recently got my, bro my black belt. So I needed a kind of a trophy for all of my older belts to hang on. And so me and my dad worked on that for about a month. I think it's cool that I can show people what I've done and see the hard work that I've put into it. Graphics. Lauren Meeker, first place. She's right behind you. Don't go far. <laughs> Pen and ink. Lauren Meeker, first place. Good job. <laughs> Marissa Reeser, second place. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Okay, in the graphite pencil area, Melissa Guerrero, first place. Alex Smith, second place. Colored pencil, Melissa Guerrero, first place. <laughs> Lauren Meeker is second place. Okay, you go. Here you go. Don't go so far away. <laughs> 
No kidding. Yes. <laughs> I know. I, I'm going to wait till she gets back in the crowd. Okay. <laughs> Lauren Meeker, charcoal, first place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Nick Christensen, second place. In the pastel, Soyon Kim, first place. Sarah Roman, second place. In the mixed media, Cynthia Brito, first place. And Ashley Fuchs, second place. Ashley, I'm here. Good. I'm so glad. Thanks. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank awesome. you. Thank you. In the photography for sixth and eighth grades, in black and white, we have Elizabeth Og. OJ. 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 First place. Awesome. Stay there. In color, Elizabeth OJ. First place. <laughs> Congratulations. The photography for the grades 9 through 12 in black and white, Ashley Fuchs, first place. Millie Kirk, second place. In the color photography, Ashley Fuchs, first place. <laughs> Allie Gray, second place. <laughs> Digital, <laughs> Allie Gray, first place. <laughs> <laughs> And Megan Chung, second place. <laughs> and we have the world in pictures, and that's grade 9 through 12. The first category is still life, black and white, and that is Marcy Creech, first place. Again, still life, black and white. Megan Chung, second place. And there you go. We have scenes, black and white. Marcy Creech, first place. Awesome. Scenes, black and white. Megan Chung, second place. Next we have Living Things, black and white. It's interesting to see the competition and to see where I need to work on, see my challenges, set new goals. I won two first place and one um, second place last year and I didn't really know what I was getting into. And this year I was like blown away when they kept calling my name and I was like, oh my stars, <laughs> I can't believe this. So it really means a lot to me. It shows me that I actually do have talent because I tend to have very low self-confidence and that really helps me. It really boosts me up to know that my work is worth something. Marcy Creech, first place. <laughs> and Megan Chung is second place. <laughs> Next we have scenes in color, and that is Marcy Creech in first place. <laughs> Just the initials reading the same, MC. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Megan, uh, second place. Megan Chung. 
we are on a first name basis now, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, that was Living Things. No, that was Scenes Color. Living right, Things. Yeah. Right. Living Things Color. Uh, Marcy Creech, first place. And Megan Chung, second place. <laughs> Still life color, Marcy Creech, first place. Okay, do you sing or dance or any of that? No. <laughs> Moving on to performing arts. Literature, short story is Lucy Russing, first place. Piano is Gabriel Johnson, first place. Congratulations. That's great. Vocal, Emily Radford, first place. Okay. <laughs> now we have drama, and drama concludes our evening. So before I announce drama, because all of you are going to leave as soon as I announce this, <laughs> <laughs> those that do not win tonight, take your entries home with you. We are keeping first and second place here to keep on display. So if you have not gotten first or second place, you may take your items home with you. Okay. I don't know. Last one, drama. <laughs> Megan Chung, first place. <laughs> Deborah Cronshaw, second place. And that, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, concludes our evening. We hope you have enjoyed it, all of our talent here that, that you have created, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming. So congratulations to our winners. You, too, can view all of the amazing artwork on the Town of Clayton YouTube site and or on the Town of Clayton Peg channel. We hope you'll join us at both places. Again, congratulations to all of our winners. As you can see in the background, we have a fine turnout tonight for the, uh, the Women's Club Art Festival. And uh, a lot of students here, and uh, it's just a nice evening. I just want to uh, tell you what we're doing next month. As you know, first Thursday of every month, with some exceptions, but first Thursday of every month, we have an art reception here with new artists. And next month, uh, we have uh, Elizabeth the Sherbet Nun and uh, Charles Rodier. They're wonderful artists. I've seen their work and uh, we're looking forward to it. Come down and join us. Mm -hmm.